Ed, you're almost hitting the point where you've got to make some tough decisions in terms of how much of the staff will have to be eliminated. Either they take a buyout, they take a voluntary leave of absence. What's your sense right now in terms of how many people may be furloughed versus how many may take an early buyout versus a, an unpaid leave of absence? Well, we've said throughout the last couple of months, our goal, if we can, it's an ambitious goal and an audacious goal, is not to have any furloughs in the company. And I think we have a shot at that, uh, remarkably enough, given how low our revenues are. Uh, we're closing this month an early retirement offer for our people across the entire company. And at this point, we have over 17,000 people have voluntarily agreed to take early retirement. That's about 20 percent of our entire company will be uh, leaving the company starting August 1. Uh, in addition to that, we've had really good subscription to voluntary leaves of absence, uh, unpaid leaves of absence. Our people are just amazing what they've done for the company. Uh, month of July, we have 35,000 people out uh, without pay voluntarily, and we see thousands more continuing into the fall, even on top of those that are going to be retiring. And the other third thing of that is we've got a lot of flexibility in our work schedule. So the extent we have so certain parts of the business where we are uh, oversubscribed we have too much headcount and others we may not not have enough we can move our staffing levels around across the company so a lot of good work and a lot of creative thinking going on but we won't know for sure until we get closer to that October one day but um, I'm optimistic if we do have a furlough it's going to be relatively minimal numbers